Well, guys, uh, I need to admit sometimes your office looks like shit and you look like a messy. But today I got, well, let's see, some packages, a new server and cool new stuff. I want to explore that with you and potentially create some sort of a series for home lovers. Maybe you guys are also into that. Let's check that out. Well, as I said, sometimes it looks a little bit messy, like me having all these parts here floating around, but let me show you something. I got myself something and I'm happy about it. Ah! So this right here is a new server case that I'm trying to put into my server rack. And you do notice it is rather long. The issue with that is the server case in here is too long for my server rack that I do have. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, we just move my server rack around. I don't get my, myself a new server rack, I still love it. Let me show you that. Let me quickly go with you over here. Uh, you do see over there, that's my little networking rack. And I do have this old Fujitsu server that I got like years ago. It was really, really cheap, but this networking rack, that there, that's a beauty. That's really a beauty. And what I want to do is well, I want to re remove my PDU down there, one or two U's up, probably two U's up, so that I can put in this two U rack that I do have here and fill this two U server up with all the beauty that's in this box. So let me quickly get myself the second box because in this box is all the beauty that goes into that server. So let me quickly open up the server case and let me show you what kind of server case I got myself. And then we will quickly go over the parts and also why I chose these parts. Well, here it is. This is the server case. It is to you from the height. And what's cool about that is it features eight, three and a half bay inches in the top, which are hot swappable. So you can take them out, put in your three and a half inch drive and put it back in like that so that's pretty cool and the name is let me read that intertech case ipc2 hu-2408 these names are totally shit but what's really cool about that is this will go into my network rack that you just saw earlier and i got myself a couple of parts for example, the Ryzen 8600G, because it does have an integrated GPU and a couple other things. It is to you from the height, so you can actually use normal size things. And you do see that in the back here. Uh, these, these thingies, these brackets here do indicate to you, all right, uh, this is like the slim slot format thingy. I don't really know the name scheme for that in English. So bear with me. But what's really cool about that is I need to figure out how to populate this puppy because one of the biggest issues is I need another power supply for that. I can't use standard ATX power supplies. I do have plenty of them laying around, but unfortunately I was stupid enough to purchase myself something like this, which requires something specific. So, well, let me, well, let me try to do a couple of things with that puppy and then we will make sure to quickly showcase how to populate your server and then I will talk to you why I chose all of this stuff and what's my plan with it. So, here we go. This is uh, the puppy. We do have plenty of fans in here and stuff like this. Whoop, voila. Here we go. Fans and stuff like this. They are probably too loud. I still need to order myself some other fans because I want to make sure that this server is as quiet as possible. And we do see we have plenty of ports in front here. We do have an SFF uh, connector. There are two of them because four will be for one and the other four will be on the other one. So there's plenty of storage capacity. We also do have a DVD drive down here and uh, some other, other drive capacity in here, which we can just slide out. Did you see that here? We can just slide them out. So there are plenty of things that we can do with that. And my goal is to put in here a little bit of an efficient stuff to make this puppy go away. Because 
it's fine. It's just zipping too much power and I want to have something which is a little bit more beautiful instead of this chunky stuff. I want to have this beautiful thingy in my server rack. So this whole thing will probably take a little bit of time. And as I pointed out earlier, here comes a, f uh, what it, what's it called? A fix power supply form factor stuff in here. I, I don't know, I, I'll, I'll sort something out. I do know that I can put a TFX power supply in here with a little adapter that I can 3D print myself. So that's what I'm gonna do instead of, yeah, just getting other stuff. So that's the idea here. And uh, now let's quickly take a look on the parts that I ordered myself as well. And then I will talk quickly about why I chose to do that. And in the next video, you'll see me how to build this stuff and so on. Yeah. So these are the parts that I do get myself. Basically, we do have a Ryzen 7 8700G. I do mention that earlier it does have an integrated GPU and iGPU. I just want to have something which is great if I want to do light work and for heavy tasks and stuff like this and a little bit AI training. I do have myself a RTX A2000 laying around that I didn't know what to do for a couple of months and I finally want to bring this into this game. So that's why I do have the RTX A2000 laying around here. Um, for the CPU, I got myself a low-profile cooler from Noctua, the NHL9A AM5. I just want to, want to have something which is looking cool, doing plenty of great stuff, and yeah, in general, that should be sufficient. On the motherboard, I decided to go with ASRock for the B650M Pro, which does feature plenty of things that I want to do. Uh, for example, it does have plenty of SATA ports, as well as enough capability when it comes to PCIe expansion because I want to have a powerhouse there. I want to utilize one PCIe slot with at least two NVMe SSDs because I have some tasks that are heavy on this load and I still want to have another one for high network capability like a 10 gigabit NIC and then you do see I mentioned the RTX uh, A2000 here up there earlier. I need a third slot for having something like well, an RTX in there, like this one, with an X16 slot. While this only takes X8, I do know that, but it's definitely definitely needed. And when it comes to the RAM, I got myself these crucial sticks here. It's only 64 GB of RAM, but my idea here is to go lower on the RAM usage that I do have, because currently in my server, I utilize up to 64 gigabytes of RAM on just one single VM, for example, which is my TrueNAS VM. It is running great. It's doing its stuff and it's, it's okay. But to be honest, what I want to do is I want to use a SSD for caching and then the rest goes, the rest of the RAM goes into actual tasks that I do need. This one is, uh, non and ECC RAM if I'm not mistaken. I don't really think I need ECC in my use case, but yeah, well, these are most of the parts. I'm, I'm missing my TFX power supply. It's a 300 watt power supply from Be Quiet. I will, I will have this soon here. So in the build video, I will showcase you all the stuff. But for now, these are the parts that I'm trying to utilize. And guys, I really need to mention, it's a little bit like Christmas, having all these new parts here laying around. It's, it's just insane. I do love it. So yeah, well, I think now we can finally talk about why I decided to do that. Well, so the answer to that should be a little bit obvious, maybe. I mentioned that the big server that I do have currently is, is just too chunky. And I do know it looks like a messy household here at the moment, but uh, I do have plenty of things to do from my work. I'm always around in this country and therefore I don't really spend that much time here with my family. But apart from that, this part of my life of being around all over the country is ending very soon. So I will have more time here at home, which really comes handy to my family and me as well. And therefore I want to clean up plenty of things, make sure it looks nice and tidy up this whole space here. It is a nice start of being in a new home and having new stuff. So I decided it is finally time to move on with my old server, leave it alone and use something which is reliable, especially for the future. The 8600G that I got myself here, it's, it's an okay CPU. It's one of the new Ryzen CPUs and 
it does plenty of features it does have plenty of features that i do need for the task that i'm trying to do with it but the good thing about using or utilizing the am5 platform is when i do figure out hey i need a little bit more horsepower on the cpu i can always swap this out to a new one which is a little bit more capable and then maybe without an igpu i only need the igpu parts for stuff like uh, a little bit of ai training on my uh, home lab stuff that i do have for example, I have Image, which is a self-hosted cloud phone uh, photo storage, and it does have features such as uh, image recognition and stuff like this, and it's running locally on your machine. So for that, I think it might be nice to have something like an integrated iGPU, but it would be better with a NVIDIA GPU or um, any other GPU as well. So, yeah, the only reason is I want to be a little bit tidying up this space, to be honest, but. I hope that you guys are enjoying this kind of content and into it because with moving over to a new server case and a new server style in general, I also want to not introduce but do a small form of a playlist where people can go into and are like, hey, well, okay, I want to start my own home lab or I want to start my small lab for networking and stuff like this for my small business and I want to grow with you into that and show you what you can do especially when it comes to Bitcoin stuff because some of you guys run your own Bitcoin node at home and I want to show you how you can utilize such a server or use this service in general of me providing you these informations and showing to you all right you need to get a server you need to get a domain you need to get these VMs installed there are plenty of tasks involved in that and I want to share with you my experience and my knowledge and hopefully make you happy and gain more knowledge in that case. So with that, I do thank everybody for tuning in and listening to me just being here a little bit crazy on my own little Christmas of new computer parts arriving. And uh, well, I'd say see you in the next video. Until then, peace out and keep hashing.